everybody knows that there's a minhag to pay for aliyot to buy the honor of getting an aliyah. And uh, with other mitzvot, I mean, in uh, the more industrious kinds of shoes, they sell more things. Less industrious shoes, they usually sell the aliyot either a priori or de facto. Either someone gets up and says, I'm selling the aliyot. How much for the first, how much for the second? Or de facto, you pay, you get an aliyah, but then you have to pay afterwards. And uh, those, I mean, it's become so common that we do that, that it's very hard to um, deny this, uh, this process. And this is already mentioned in the Mishnebura. Again, Kuf Lamed Hey, Sif Kotan Yudchet. We just look at that. Kuf Lamed Hey, as you know, is about... Uh, is about Talmud Torah. He talks about a Kohen. He talks about a Kohen. The, the, the Ramor says, Imen Kohen mitane korin li Yisrael, if it's a Tanit Sibur, and you want to call up people who are fasting, there's no Kohen who's fasting, so you call up a Yisrael. That's what the Shulchan Aramor says in the Shulchan Aruch. It's good that he should, you shouldn't just not give him an Aliyah, but he should leave. He should leave. And now the, the Mishtabruah, the Mishtabruah says, he says, after all, even if he doesn't leave, it's possible to give the Aliyah to somebody else, because everybody knows that he, he just didn't fast, and that's why he's not getting an aliyah. Uh, but it's better that he should leave, because then no one will think that there's something wrong with him. That, uh, it's not everybody may know that he's not fasting, and that since he's not fasting, he's not going to get an aliyah, etc. But it's enough for him to tell in advance the uh, whoever is in charge of the aliyot that he should not get an aliyah. Uh, furthermore, the Mishnah Baruch says that in a shul where on Shabbat Breshit uh, somebody always gave money for the purposes of the of the Beit Knesset. But in order that he should get the first aliyah, you know, like somebody decided, somebody decided, I have a lot of money, and I'm willing to give a large donation, but I want to get the first aliyah that usually goes to a, to a Kohen. And if he buys it, the Kohen who is in the room, he says, I'm not leaving. I'm not going any anywhere. And he says... Uh, who can we don't care we understand that we're giving the aliyah to this other guy because he paid money but not because there's something wrong with the Kohen so we don't worry about that uh, and, and this is a sort of an old minhag that you can buy the Ali aliyot uh, so it turns out it turns out that even though a Kohen is supposed to get the first aliyah if somebody else buys that aliyah and gives a large donation to the Beit Knesset, he can get the first aliyah. And even if the Kohen is not willing to leave, even the Kohen is not willing to leave the room, and uh, uh, we still will give him the aliyah. We don't, uh, no one will imagine that there's something wrong with the Kohen. Everybody understands it's because this other guy paid a lot of, paid a lot of money.